Hello and welcome to Reality News Roundup. Here are the top stories of the day. The Greater Noida Industrial Development Authority has asked Realty Major Supertech to seal 1,009 flats and villas at its sprawling SAR complex in sector Omnicorn 1, Greater Noida, for large scale violation of the sanctioned plan. Nearly half of these units, which include 105 villas, have been sold. The development agency claims the company had permission for just 844 housing units at Zar, but built 15 residential towers with a total of 1,853 units in this 20-acre township. The Maharashtra government's ambitious 22,000 crore rupees Dharvi redevelopment project has turned out to be a damp web. The Dharvi Redevelopment Authority, which had invited global tenders in April 20th, failed to get even a single bid. The deadline has now been extended to May 5, said its Chief Executive Officer Nirmal Deshmukh. Gujarat Chief Minister Anandi Ben Patel said the state government had provided affordable houses to around 5 lakh people in the last two years. Patel allocated houses to 1,092 beneficiaries of housing schemes of the Gujarat Housing Board after laying the foundation stone for six development projects of the Vadodara Municipal Corporation. Cash flow for the construction companies is likely to improve this year as most of the orders procured in the last two years are expected to be executed this fiscal, says a study by India Ratings. According to the study, companies in the construction sector continued to witness negative cash flows from operations in 2015-16, which is likely to improve gradually to near zero levels this fiscal as more orders procured during the last two years are executed. Thank you for watching. For latest updates, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram.